The other end of the shock cord is going to be attached to the bottom of the uh, graphite rod, uh, but it has to go through this disc first. And one of the discs, one of the, there's two small holes here. One of them is just off to the center. And you'll figure it out pretty quick which it is, which one it is. And just bend it over to the side like this so that you can slide the rod into the hole like that. Um, actually just slide it all the way onto the, onto the shock cord for right now. Um, first thing that we want to do is get a piece of plastic because we're going to glue this to here uh, but it helps to do it on plastic. So the technique that I use is I put a drop of glue along the uh, the rod, just just enough to glue that together, and then I fold this over just like that, and then I press up against the rod so that it's glued. The shock cord is glued to the shaft here. All right. Just like that. Then take the red thread or the thread, and we need to um, tie that onto the to the rod like this. And I start out with a slip knot. So um, I make a loop, come underneath, go around the long end, and then back through the hole, and then pull on that end, holding this end, and then slide it over to the uh, front end of the shock cord. Pull it tight, just like that. I really wanted to slide, it's okay. I'm just gonna hit that knot with some super glue and that will lock it in place. Okay, and then this excess piece right here, we'll go ahead and cut that off so it doesn't get in the way. And then take the thread and just roll it around the shaft and the graphite or the uh, Kevlar. And this is what locks it in place. We're tying it on really tight. And then to hold it in place, we're just going to use super glue again. All right. Paper towel, wipe off the excess. And then we can cut off the excess of red thread here. Take the, uh, the disc, slide it up the Kevlar and onto that shaft. Just like that. Now this is kind of like our wadding that protects the blades and it gives something for the ejection charge to push against. It's going to let a little bit of gas through, which we want. We don't want it to be so hard that it, it, it kicks it so hard that everything comes apart. So that's why those holes are there. And then I want to use some super glue and then, and then lock that disc in place. I'm just going to apply a little kicker here. If everything worked right, let's just go ahead and test fit it into the tube. I just wrap my fingers around the shock cord, shove it in there, and then just use that as a plunger to push it all in. It should be nice and loose, which it is. And fold up the uh, 
the blade supports, slide them in. All right, so coming along pretty good here.